so basically what it is is a uh, it's a compressed air atomizing nozzle and it's one of the most efficient that are on the market it only consumes about a gallon per hour wow really dry fog and there's very little fallout so it's ideal for foliar sprays or aeroponic systems any situation where you need a really fine uh, fog so with this, it allows the nutrients to get into solution because it has that 0 to 30 micron range. But it, like I said, it's adjustable. Once you get from 30 to 100 microns, you're dealing with what's called mist. And then once you get from 100 to 200 microns, you're dealing with spray, which is uh, like an easy cloner, if you will. And then it uses the compressed air to siphon the water into the nozzle, so you don't need a water pump. And the thing with the compressed air is that it operates at around 30 PSI. See, that makes sense because I've always heard that uh, 70 PSI is the threshold for those living organisms. So that makes total sense why things are still living in it. Yeah. So it remains at 30 PSI even with a very high-end air compressor. Yeah, nice thing too with this is you can adjust the pressure. So if you wanted more of a dry fog, you can push it up to 30 to 40 PSI. And if you wanted more of a spray or a mist at 100 microns or 200 microns, you can lower the PSI and it'll actually create more of a spray. So by affecting the pressure to the nozzle, you can affect the spray droplet size. If you're foliar spraying with it or you're using it to grow arrow cuttings or grow arrow plants, it only uses like roughly a gallon every hour. If you spray it like on your hand, you'll see all these little micro drops on your hair. The the micron size of the fog is just so it doesn't even beat up. No. Like it doesn't even have water droplets. Right. It, they're very 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 small. Like I was telling you about in an aero system, is that um, it allows the root hair to grow without blasting them off. Like you know on an easy cloner how you get those kind of spaghetti looking roots yeah. once they root. Exactly. We've tried this nozzle in an aero system. You'll get that same initial root, but then you'll get all this fur growing on it. And the roots will look really vibrant and furry. Water will go in here. And the compressed air goes through the backside right yeah. there. Yeah, and if you ever had a problem, all you have to do to take it apart is basically unscrew the top. And you'll see what you can do is take a wrench and unscrew this, pull the orifice out and clean the orifice. Because inside there, there's a, uh, a bunch of little holes where the water is siphoned into the jet stream of the air. Wow. And if those ever clog with like a root or uh, some particle, you can just, you can basically just um, clean them out with like a pen or something. These are both so quarter inch. Both a quarter so it inch. off quarter inch too. And is it a quick connect? Yeah, it's a push connect fitting. Push connect, yeah. yeah. It'll siphon the water. The actual compressed air will siphon the water up to about two and a half feet. If the nozzle's higher than two and a half feet from the actual reservoir, you're going to need to get pressure to the water okay. to get it in. But within two to two and a half feet, it'll actually siphon the water right into the nozzle. Wow. Yeah. Which is cool, so you don't need a water pump. Right. In an aero system or a hydro system, even though you can grow with just minerals, you know, your NPKs and all of that. We found it actually, they work better if you incorporate compost teas and beneficial bacteria and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's really making a big push right now in the market. Yeah, and when we add, started adding those things, the plants did a lot better. 100 to 200 microns is a spray. 30 to 100 would be a mist. And anything is a fog. 30 is a fog. The most fine mist that we've found available on the market it allows aeroponic growers or foliar feeding growers to use their mixes and their biological components or organics in ways that have never been able to be used before. Fulvic acids getting into the plant at below 5 microns, allowing rich terpene and essential oil production the last weeks of flower. Organics being sprayed at the root zone for the very first time. Biologicals being able to be utilized with their full effect either at the root zone or sprayed fuller on the plant. 
These are the benefits that this new product's bringing to the market, a game changer. Something classic, something classic.